Well, let me show you why we're so excited here at Lemoya Technologies. Back in 2013, we came out with the PMF 4000, and we had such great results in healing. The only problem was that it used spark gap technology and reliability wasn't as good as we would have hoped for. So, uh, this is our new baby. Solid state, very quiet, and most of all, reliable. Just turn it on. Set the repetition rate, set the intensity, maybe start at 10. Uh, set your timer. Uh, right now I have it set on 20 seconds, just to demo the unit, and hit start. And then you'll see it counts down. We currently have a back attachment hooked up, and it's very quiet. Listen. And that's a next generation PMF, solid state. If you're looking into PMF devices, make sure you ask your distributor if they use spark apps or not and how fast that's going to wear out. Let's take a minute now <clears throat> for me to explain some very important information about PMF from a manufacturer's point of view. What are the different variables that we look at in making a really good PMF? I think once you understand that, you'll be able to make a better buying decision for whatever use you plan on using your PMF device for. So, the first thing is, what is actually the healing mechanism how does PMF actually cause its tremendous benefits? Well, a lot of people think that it's the magnetic field. But again, from a manufacturer's point of view, the magnetic field is merely a carrier. And when the magnetic field of a certain strength and of a certain speed hits the cells of the body, the cells convert the magnetic field into microcurrent. And the microcurrent is deep inside the body. And it turns out that um, when you have uh, any kind of disease or weakness in your organs or uh, anything that the body needs, its electrical resistance drops. So that means that the microcurrent will seek those areas out and recharge those cells first. So how do we create this effect? Well, there has to be a minimum of magnetic field. So the lower powered devices out there, I'm not going to name any, um, if the magnetic field is too low, you will not get the conversion effect into microcurrent. And that's the desired goal. So <clears throat> the correct pulse speed is actually 200 nanoseconds or under. Uh, most devices out there that use spark gap technology, they are unable to control the speed of the pulse because they're just dumping energy and they have to wait until that energy finishes dumping and it takes typically in the microseconds 10 microseconds 100 microseconds and what that means for you as a practitioner is that that energy is going to go into muscle contraction the longer the pulse uh, just like tens devices uh, there's sports therapy types of tens devices and then there's microcurrent tens devices and the difference is the length of the pulse as you lengthen it, you have more muscle contraction, which is really good for sports therapy. But if you're trying to get energy into the mitochondria, which is what the goal of PMF is, then you have to have a smaller pulse to be able to get the energy inside the cell. So that's a very important point. <clears throat> Second point is spark gap versus solid state. So spark gaps typically have two pieces of metal and it sparks between them and then that metal starts to melt and melt and melt as you use the unit because there's a lot of energy each pulse has at least 2,000 amps of current 2,000 amps so each time that thing sparks a little piece of metal gets pitted off 
and again in most devices out there that use spark gaps it has a single screw and as you screw that it gets used up more and more and more until the screws all gone and then in about nine months to a year you have to replace that spark gap at a cost of eight hundred to a thousand dollars so <clears throat> solid state there is no spark it's all done inside of a solid module that are guaranteed by the manufacturers of these modules for five years uh, usually on the order of a million to ten million pulses so that's what's guaranteeing the reliability of our units when we make them solid state. Uh, for the PMF 4000, we're able to do upgrades and make them solid state, take out the spark gap and put a solid state module in there. Um, and then the Qantas all come solid state and the reliability is gonna be through the roof at least five years because there's no parts to burn out. It's almost like a stereo system. There's a lot more information I'd really like to share with you, but I'd like to keep this video brief um, if you would, please fill out your uh, name and email. I'd like to send you a research document that talks about how PMF recharges the mitochondria from a medical perspective. Excellent document. And also, I'll send you a brochure as well. And, you know, stay with us because we're about to come out with some pretty cool technologies, uh, even combinations of technologies as well. So, uh, look forward to speaking to you on the other side. And thank you for watching.